In this lecture, we will be reviewing plaster design considerations. The table lists common mixes of mortar to be used in altered plastering work. Lime can be added to increase the workability of the mix and for ease of application. The cement lime mix have a slow rate of strength development and cannot withstand modern building conditions. The ideal numbers of plaster coats are two, namely under coat followed by a finishing coat. For plain background of bricks, AAC blocks, one coat is sufficient if the background is not subjected to weather conditions. For rough surface such as stone masonry, third coat may be required. Accordingly, the thickness of plaster in single coat will be of 10 to 15 mm. The two coat plaster will have total thickness of less than 20 mm, in which 10 to 12 mm thick back coat and 3 to 8 mm thick finished coat, wherein three coat plaster thickness will be less than 25 mm, in which the finished coat will be of 3 to 5 mm thick. The mix for the finishing coat shall depend on the texture and color of the surface desired. If the surface is to have a lime putty finish, then it is advisable to have rich mix of one part of cement, one part of lime and three parts of sand. For any rough finish a mix of one part of cement to three to four parts of sand is suggested. Where two or three coat plasters are adopted, as far as possible the mix for the undercoats should contain coarse sand conforming to grading zone 2 of IS 383 1970 and having fineness modulus not less than 2.0. For single coat plaster fineness modulus of sand should be 1.5 and conforming to grading zone 4 of IS 383 1970. Where only fine sand is available the fineness modulus of sand may be improved by mixing the required percentage of coarse sand. The strength of plaster mix gets reduced with the reduction in the fineness modulus of sand. There are two types of plaster bonding, mechanical, mortar squeezes into a regular surface and get into lock when get hardened. Adhesive, due to adhesive properties of Portland cement on hardening. Bonding mainly depends upon the roughness of the surface on which the plaster is to be applied and the quality of mixed material. When plaster is dried, it is to be cured by spraying water on surface for minimum of 7 days. In frost, the critical effect on plaster work is significant, unless special precautions are adopted plastering work shall be suspended. In cold, the setting and hardening time increased with reduction in temperatures. Accordingly the work is to be programmed or reprogrammed. The rainy season may impair the finished plaster work, by retard of drying out for periods of a week or a month. In dry conditions, the coat will set rapidly and will have powdery surface result in not allowing the next coat or finishing coat to stick properly. In this condition the surface should be kept wet during curing period. To control over cracking, the mix of plastering is to be used before it starts to get set. Once the setting time starts, the strength of mortar will decrease, and meanwhile the efficiency will also decrease. The setting time of mortar is 30 minutes. After completion of 30 minutes the mortar mix will try to get stiffened. For better bonding and prevent cracking, trowel cut should be done between adjacent coats.